winning miniseries Escape at Dannemora. Now to the decision made by the Trump administration to block New Yorkers from renewing membership in the Department of Homeland Security's Trusted Traveler Program over the state's new sanctuary laws on driver's license for undocumented immigrants. That means some 200,000 New Yorkers will no longer be able to renew their membership in popular programs like Global Entry to speed through airport checkpoints. Joining us now to discuss this decision is the Acting Deputy Secretary of the Homeland Security Department, Ken Cuccinelli. Ken, welcome, and we thank you for your time so much. Yeah, good we, to be with you. If we can start here, Deputy Secretary, connect the dots for our viewers. What does sure. global entry have to do with undocumented immigrants? So what New York did in their green light law is they blocked the Department of Homeland Security's access to the Department of Motor Vehicles for the state's database. And in that database, or uh, that database is how we confirm identification, for one, which is critical to identify someone as a trusted traveler as opposed to an ordinary traveler as part of those programs. And two, it is the most up-to-date database for things like fugitive warrants, for criminal history, all those things are together in the DMV database. Those are all things that we check for every single uh, person who applies to be part of one of those trusted traveler programs um, th across the country, whether they live in New York or not. And New York has blocked our ability to do that. So we have stopped renewing and accepting applications for those programs, uh, like Global Entry, FAST is a commercial version version for truckers uh, it, from New York because we don't have access to the information we need to make that judgment. Uh, but, but Ken, kind of explain this a, a little bit more if you can, because, you know, the sure. president it touts himself as a pro-business president. He was talking about the economy today in the East yep. Room. If you're a businessman, you're traveling on business, you're, you're flying all over the world, you get to JFK, it's, it's Friday, you just want to get through sort of that, that customs line, and that's why yes. Global Entry is so great. Now, why should that businessman who, who's trying to just make money and work for himself and eventually pay taxes, why should he be penalized if you're having a problem with undocumented immigrants in the state of New York. Well, right, the issue here is that we're having a problem with the state of New York, and his issue should be with the state of New York. We can't run these programs. We're not changing how the programs are run. New York has decided not to cooperate. So, uh, you know, they have uh, inhibited us from being able to do this with respect to New York residents. So, uh, and, and I would note that those databases are critical for public safety, including New Yorkers' public safety, and it is amazing. I Look, I'm a Virginian. On 9-11, we had a plane hit the Pentagon. And New York, of course, had the Twin Towers. And it is amazing that the most basic flaw that we all acknowledged after 9-11, the failure to share information critical to making public safety de decisions, is being intentionally repeated by the New York government. The, their legislature and governor have decided to do this as a policy matter. And it's just astonishing that they would sacrifice public safety in this way. These, these trusted traveler programs rely on those public safety measures, that database, to be able to assure all the other travelers going through those programs um, and to make them work safely, that what we have going through there are, in fact, trusted travelers. And we can no longer do that with New York. But you can understand the confusion uh, maybe for people watching this because an undocumented immigrant can never get global entry. That's that's understandable, uh, but th I, I don't know if you're hearing me. No, I, I am. New York <laughs> has denied the Department of Homeland Security access to that information for everybody, for everyone, for all New Yorkers. And so all New Yorkers are, can now not be checked against the relevant databases um, that are important for deciding whether people meet the qualifications of the trusted traveler programs. It's that simple. And New York needs to undo it for us to be able to be in a position without sacrificing public safety to undo the decision made yesterday by Acting Secretary Wolf. Is this a permanent decision? And will other states also go through the same uh, restrictions? So uh, it is not necessarily permanent. Um, we would certainly love to return to the point of cooperation with the Com with the state of New York, Commonwealth. I'm from Virginia, so sorry for the slip. But with the state of New York in, in preserving the public safety of all New Yorkers. And that has been 
you know, blocked here, and it has bad consequences. It has bad consequences on a daily basis for New Yorkers, and I'm not talking about the convenience of the Trusted Traveler programs. I'm talking about the inability of federal law enforcement to identify fugitives from justice, to identify violent criminals, to identify murderers and child molesters, and to remove them from these communities. That's who New York is protecting with this law. You know, Governor Cuomo has called this extortion. Uh, one of his aides said this is political retaliation by the federal government, and we're going to review our legal options. Is this headed to court, Deputy Secretary? Well, uh, I mean, God bless America. Anybody can sue anybody for anything. It doesn't mean they get to win. These are, these are not uh, programs that exist as of right. These are privileged programs, and they have a, a system already in place for how they operate, and New York has broken the system. So for New Yorkers who want these programs back, and as the year goes on, when the renewal comes up for about 175,000 or so New Yorkers, they're not going to get renewed. Those people need to turn to their state government and ask them to fix the underlying problem, which is the failure, intentional, to share public safety information with the Department of Homeland Security, which is doing this just to keep them safe. That's what that information sharing is for. All right. Ken Cuccinelli, Deputy Acting Deputy Secretary, thank you so much for your time. We good appreciate to be with it. with you. All right. Have a good night. You too. Uh, we want to turn now to some dramatic body cam footage from...